It is a disease that affects millions in the U.S. According to the Alzheimer's Association, about one in nine Americans aged 65 and older has Alzheimer's. But today, a major announcement. The FDA approving a drug that appears to slow the progression of the disease. News 8's Amanda Porter spoke with experts about what this could mean for families. Amanda? The FDA granted the drug accelerated approval as a treatment for patients is in the early stages of the disease. And although not without risk, the clinical results are something both scientists and families are hopeful about. A new Alzheimer's drug has been approved by the FDA. Lecanemab, otherwise known as Lequimbi, appears to slow down the progression of Alzheimer's, giving more time to patients and their families. It's welcome news for the many people who have lost loved ones to the disease, including Jean Barnes. Had this drug been around, you know, when she was first diagnosed, um, she'd have more time with my kids or her grandkids. And Marlene McCain, who lost her mother in 2011 from dementia. Um, she was, I mean, just my number one go to person. And it was really hard for us when she was diagnosed. If she could have just had even like one more day, one more like moment of clarity, just like any good day. Scientists have been working on a cure for years. Now they say they are closer than ever to more advancements for Alzheimer's. Well, I was actually at the conference in San Francisco in early December where the first results were presented. Um, and I can tell you that the mood at that conference was extremely high. Until now, medication only treated the symptoms. But doctors say Lequimbi treats the underlying cause of the disease. What the antibodies do is they bind to this material in your brain that builds up and causes Alzheimer's, and it's called amyloid. And when it binds that, it, it essentially instructs the immune system to come in and get rid of this. There are side effects, including brain bleeds called aria, which can be detected with an MRI. Professor of neurology at MSU, David Morgan, says a gradual ramping up of the medicine can help reduce that. When we detect that, what we do is we stop giving that people, those people the drug for a while, and often it can be resumed. Uh, and the ARIA does not come back again. Many people are hopeful that the new drug will have positive impacts. And I think it's going to open a lot of doors, hopefully, for other new drugs to kind of start showing up. And hopefully th this gets us on the right track, you know, for, I don't want to get too excited, but for like a cure of some sort. We want to be able to arrest the disease progression completely. And that may happen after three or four years of this treatment. But what's going to happen is it will become the standard of care. And then the newer drugs that we've been working on, and there's a hundred of them, um, will be added to that. So any further benefits we get from other medications will be on top of what we're able to achieve with these antibody drugs against amyloid. As mentioned, there are risks to the drug. Some 13% of patients in the clinical trial developed brain bleeding and swelling, and three patients died, though it's unclear what the cause of deaths were. And because of the accelerated approval on this drug, it may not be covered for Medicare patients. But the Alzheimer's Association has made a formal request asking to lower the cost of the drug so it can be accessible to more people. Brian?